Now it's Elizabeth at our Beacon Hill studio talking about the well-spoken woman. Elizabeth? Yes, indeed. Thanks, Jean. For most people, the fear of death is topped by the fear of public speaking. In fact, it was Jerry Seinfeld who said that that means more people would prefer to be in the casket than delivering the eulogy. But effective public speaking can be transformative to an audience, and it's also a powerful tool for women. Christine Yonke is helping women to find their voice in her book, The Well Spoken Woman. Thanks for being here. Elizabeth, thank you for having me. I'm delighted to join you. You know, when it comes to speaking in public, for some people, it is really terrifying. I, I I've, you know, fallen victim to that, and I, I do it for a living. Why is it so frightening? Well, I think we've all had those moments of panic, if you will, mm -hmm. when the heart stops and we can't breathe. I think one of the most difficult challenges about doing well in public speaking is to be yourself. Yeah. Yeah, the audience is looking for presenters who are authentic, mm. and there are so many things that can go wrong yeah. in a public speaking situation. Yeah, so it's being ready for anything so that your own personality can come through. You know what's funny is even on, on our show sometimes, I find myself standing like this or yeah. even crossing my arms like yeah. this. But you say that that's not always the best way, if you're, especially if you're delivering to an audience. Exactly, and some women get bad advice, particularly if they're smaller and in height, they're told to, well, take up a lot of space, mm -hmm. and this is going to look real stiff, stiff to an yeah. audience. So a couple little tips for you. What I call the champion stance. Okay. It all starts with what you do with your feet. Rather than standing with your feet shoulder width apart, mm -hmm. and you probably this from doing stand-ups outside, just put one foot slightly in front of the other. Just a little more casual and comfortable? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Conversational is what we're looking for. Okay. And then if you're standing behind a lectern, something a like this. Trick, exactly. Just rest your fingertips on the edge because what happens, it's almost like magic, the shoulders drop back. Huh. And then you have that nice presence. And also it kind of eliminates the question of what do I do with my hands? Yes. What do you do with your yeah. hands? Um, I don't know if the camera will see this or not, but we um, don't like the fig leaf. Yeah. Or Eve's day wear. Yeah. Uh, it's comfortable, but it looks very insecure. Yeah. So again, yeah, we want those shoulders drop back, mm -hmm. and hand gestures are a good thing because, as you know, they open you up to the audience. Mm -hmm. They're very welcoming to the audience. The other thing that I notice, I, I, uh, I'm wearing boots today because it's so, uh, you know, it's rainy and terrible out. But I find that if I'm not wearing, you know, a professional, uh, professional attire, sometimes that impacts my delivery. Why is that? Exactly. And my advice to all women is the day before, well before the day of your presentation, mm -hmm. take your outfit for a test drive. Mm. The morning of, you don't want to find, oh, big stain on the front of your right. uh, skirt or, you know, the jacket doesn't fit right because you want to be comfortable as you're suggesting. Mm. So try out those shoes so they're not pinching your feet. And it's feet. not frivolous then. I mean, this is not all part at of the all. package. Yeah, it's all a part of the performance mm. and you want to do as well as you possibly can and the outfit is a big part of that because people will look at what we're wearing. That's true, <laughs> especially as women. And yeah. why is it that you wanted to direct this toward women? I mean, certainly you could have written a book for, for everybody, but why was it women that was important to you? Well, you know what? We are, of course, the majority of the population <laughs> in this country, but we're still a minority voice. Mm -hmm. I would like to see more women using their voices in PTA meetings, corporate boardrooms, and state legislatures, and the Hall of Congress. Christine Yonke is the author. The book is uh, can be found uh, at m many bookstores. You can also find it online. It's called The Well-Spoken Woman. Thanks for being here today. Elizabeth, it was great. Thank you for having me. Another uh, well-spoken woman. Kim, you're up next.